In Sioux Falls, storms caused the portions of the Big Sioux River that cut through the city to overflow and shut down parts of the bike trail. Along the river near 26th Street, the flood also inflicting some heavy damage and temporarily shutting down one of the state's largest youth day camps. Our John Gaston is continuing our team coverage. Two, one. On a normal, sunny, June day like today, the sights and sounds of over 700 kids age 4 to 15 gleefully enjoying their summer would fill the air. But thanks to the relentless deluge of the last few days, we're left with a vacant, silent, muddy landscape. On Friday, it was a swamp, the highest river crest seen here in 41 years. Where we're standing, it was probably somewhere around shoulder to head high on me on five threes. While horses and major equipment were moved ahead of the storms, the main office was submerged. Fishing poles, bows and arrows, BB guns, and arts and crafts ruined or washed away. Porta potties, picnic tables, carpet ball tables, things like that. Um, that's what these next couple of days are going to be um, just rebuilding and um, you know purchasing supplies. But the YMCA run camp is shut down for all activities until the end of this week at best. Almost every camper denied a second week of the two week program while their families received partial refunds. It is truly heartbreaking. Um, the experiences that they're going to miss that they didn't get to do their real goodbyes with their, you know, new friends and counselors. That's what makes summer camp camp. So that is you can't put a price on that. The cost of the damage is still being assessed, but the nonprofit YMCA has already started an online fund drive that has raised over $26,000 in less than 24 hours with over 250 donors from all over the country. Camp has been around for over 100 years and the thousands of kids and families that it has impacted are now coming back to help us regardless of where they've landed in their life. Meanwhile, Central Church donated its space for the 22 campers whose families opted for daycare for the week. In Sioux Falls, John Gaskins, Dakota News Now. YMCA staff are helping that the Camp Leaf Erickson grounds can be restored for the next two weekday camps starting on Monday.